Hi, I'm Bob Burner from Pluggable Technologies. What I'd like to do today is give you a quick walkthrough and unboxing of our latest product, our Thunderbolt 3 docking station with power delivery. What this product is, is a Thunderbolt 3 dock that can connect to a compatible Apple system with Thunderbolt 3, like a new MacBook Pro or iMac, or a compatible Windows system, like a Dell XPS 13 or 15 with Thunderbolt 3, and allows you to add multiple displays wired ethernet, additional USB devices, and audio input and output. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now full disclosure, I have opened this box already and removed some of the protective coverings. Normally there's plastic film protecting things and other bags protecting the components, but I've removed them just for clarity and time. So let's just go ahead and open everything up. So here's the docking station. It's a nice gray that matches the new Apple Mac systems. Nice shout out to our graphic designer Jamie. She did a beautiful job with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the insert out real quick and put the dock aside for a second and let's look at some of the individual components that come inside the box. So what I have here is a little card letting you know we're here to help if you run into any problems. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. Uh, we've got a quick start guide in multiple languages, should you need it. We've also got a base for the dock. The dock can lie either horizontally on your desk or stand up vertically and it's removable without tools and it lets you pick and choose how you want things oriented. We've got a active full-size display port to HDMI adapter. Now that's for converting the built-in video output of the dock to an HDMI display. I'll get to that in more detail in just a second. Also comes with a half meter uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable uh, supporting 40 gigabits per second bandwidth. And we've got our power cord. This is the US style power cord. C5 connector on one side and our power adapter. So I'm going to put the accessories aside for just a minute, move the box out of the way, and bring the dock back in. So here's the dock. Like I said, it matches very nicely with the color of the most of modern systems like the Dells and the Apple systems. And it can either sit flat on your desk or, the way I like to do it, is to use the stand that I mentioned earlier and it just sits in there like so. Let me put it on its side so you can see what it looks like. But it gives you a choice depending on how your desk is set up. So let's take the stand back off. So let's look on the front of the dock first. Not a whole lot on the front, but what we've got here we can see we have one USB 3 type A port um, supporting 5 gigabits per second bandwidth and also supporting BC 1.2 charging for phones and other types of devices that support that and a combination audio and input and output jack for headphones and a microphone. If I flip it over to the back, turn it around the right way, just go bit by bit. Over here we have the connection for the power adapter that I showed you earlier. Here I've got the full-size display port output. Now what this allows you to do is connect a display port display up to 4K to this output. But let's say you have a display that doesn't have a display port input. That's why we include the adapter I mentioned earlier, which just goes ahead. It's hard to do without being able to and connects in and then lets you connect your HDMI display. So Moving on, we've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now, the Thunderbolt 3 port here with the little computer icon next to it, that's the one you connect to your host system. And that will allow the dock to provide your system up to 60 watts of power to charge. So you can basically use one cable for both data and power. The second port is another Thunderbolt 3 port that can provide up to 15 watts of power for either other Thunderbolt 3 devices or can be used to add a second display using a USB-C to HDMI or USB-C to DisplayPort cable, which you could purchase separately, to add another 4K display. Right next to that, we have a wired Intel Gigabit Ethernet port, and then four more USB-3 Type-A 5 gigabits per second ports. 
And also a little fun thing to show you. This is our Thunderbolt logo that's embossed right in the case of the unit. So that's just a quick run through of what's in the box, what its capabilities are, and what I'd like to show you next is how this all works in practice. Okay, so now that I've gone over the basic features of the unit, what's included in the box and everything, let's jump right in and see how everything works in practice. So I've got a bunch of things set up here. I've got the Thunderbolt 3 dock in its vertical stand, and I've actually got it facing backwards so you can see what I'm doing. I've already hooked up the included power adapter to the power port here, and I've already hooked up the included Thunderbolt 3 cable to the Thunderbolt 3 port with the 60 watts of charging, the one with the little computer icon. So the next step is to connect connect one of my displays. Now, I've got two displays here. One display only has an HDMI uh, input. So, in order to connect that to the built-in DisplayPort display, I can use the included active DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. So, I'm going to go ahead and connect my HDMI cable to the adapter and connect the adapter to the built-in DisplayPort output. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and connect this is a little hard to do backwards like this, the Thunderbolt 3 port to my Windows system. And in just a minute, I should see everything enumerate, and I should see my one additional display start to work. Now, this isn't the first time I've connected the dock to this system. If it had been, Windows would have prompted me for some authentication steps. I've already done that, so it didn't pop up. So everything started to work. So let's say I wanted to add a second display. So I've got my second display here that does have a display port input. Now, if I want to add that display to the dock, we have a couple options available, but in this case, I have our USB-C to display port cable already hooked to the back of the monitor. And the other end of that cable is right here. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into the second Thunderbolt 3 port of the dock. And in just a moment, we should see that now the second display is detected and working. Again, the dock can support up to two 4K displays at 60 hertz, again, depending if your monitors support that. And from this point forward, one of the things that's really great, in addition to the two monitors, the laptop's charging. I've only got one cable connected to the laptop, providing power and all my connectivity. I could continue to add additional USB devices, wired Ethernet, uh, headphones, and have everything really easy and set to go. So that's Windows, but what about the Mac? So let's go ahead, let's close this, disconnect it. I have here a MacBook Pro 2016 model with Thunderbolt 3, 13 inch version. And I'm going to go ahead and just simply connect. Again, this is kind of the Thunderbolt 3 cable to the Mac, and in just a moment, we should see that both displays enumerate, everything starts to work, and the Mac is charging, again, with that 60 watts of power. So hopefully this was interesting in that it shows you all the different things you can do with the Thunderbolt 3 docking station with charging. You can do a lot with it, and when you see it in practice, it becomes a little more clear. So again, that was a quick introduction to our Thunderbolt 3 docking station with charging for Windows and Mac. Hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching.